paper vacuum bags versus HEPA cloth vacuum bags. HEPA cloth vacuum bags are tend to be stronger and better than the paper vacuum bags. And they're mainly expensive. The paper vacuum bags are cheaper to buy. When you're changing out your paper vacuum bag and take out your old one and it rips. Let's say you change out your bag and it rips and all the dirt goes onto your on your vacuum. Then you have to throw away and you have to clean up the mess and you have to have to actually pick up the dirt, put it in a trash bag because your paper vacuum bag just ripped. They're mainly cheaper, they are mainly gonna rip. And that's why these paper vacuum bags tend to rip compare to the HEPA vacuum bags. If you change out your HEPA vacuum bag, you throw it away and that's it. Then you put your new one in and then the new vacuum again with it. Now to throw away your vacuum bags, they get dust in the air also. There are some vacuum bags have this flap right there. This is like the thing that you pull. This one is a paper one right there. And you pull it to close to actually seal it when you're changing your vacuum bags on your vacuum. Some ones have a plastic that clips on. Mealy has a one that's built inside. When you actually take it off, it closes by a spring. Some have the sticky one. You unstick, you peel off the paper backing and you stick it on and throw it away those tend to not stick as well and they will just unstick for no reason and it will just dust will come right out these are good ones and the plastic ones are really good you mainly see them on maybe some paper bags and you're going to see also them on mainly the HEPA cloth bags are 10 times better now for performance now the hepa cloth bags perform way better than the paper bags from filtration and lack of suction i mean the paper vacuum bags you mainly see when you're actually comparing to let's say when you have let's say a dyson vacuum that's actually a bagless vacuum they never made a bag machine they use, the new ones use a reusable filter compared to disposable filters. And when you're looking at these machines, you're going to actually buy reusable vacuum bags that can reuse and are way better. I mean, the paper bag, you just throw them away, get yourself new. They come in packs and are mainly are cheap to buy and cheap to buy and mess everywhere then it rips then you have to buy another then you have to vac clean it off and put a new bag in there and vacuum it up the dirt and that's up these paper bags they don't filter as well and they're mainly to rip easily i mean it's so easily to rip like if you're going to change out a vacuum bag on a vacuum that has a paper bag, you really should definitely get yourself a HEPA bag. And you just go, now you keep on vacuuming carpets and you're not gonna rip bags or the bags are not gonna rip. And sometimes these machines can actually rip the bag and get into the motor and fry the motor up. That's pretty much about these machines because first thing is, they're, yes, they're cheaper, and they don't filter as well. I mean, the dust goes everywhere, and they say this is a HEPA bag. It's really not a HEPA bag. They just lie to you to tell, to actually, now you have to buy it, to actually make you buy it. So this one's better than this one, but this one's way better because when you actually look at vacuum cleaner tests, people do tests on these bags, and they don't filter as well. I mean, these vacuum bags came out, like, say, the 1900s 
These are the bags you use for your vacuum cleaners. When vacuum cleaners first came out, electric ones, these are the bags you mainly use for these vacuum. When they really first came out, they didn't really have these bags. They just had to empty it. But when they, when the first ones that use inner bags, those are the bags you use. These are the vacuum bags you use in the 50s. I don't know about the 40s. I know the 50s, the 60s, and the 70s, and the 80s, and the 90s, and the early 2000s use these paper bags. Around at least like 2009-ish, like late 2000s. Mainly, you got they had the HEPA bags. The cloth ones are way better, and they perform better than these bags. I mean, you can still buy these bags now. These are just old style bags that are still in production right now, and making people sneeze and get the sneeze a wheeze, and you'll be sneezing everywhere because first thing is. You have to change up the bag. Then you're going to deal with a mess to clean up if the bag rips. And you use your old Dirk Devil vacuum or your Hoover vacuum. That sounds like a um, a tree chipper chipping up trees. Those are the bags you mainly buy. I mean the old Hoover Elites. The soft and light and models like that. Cloth vacuum bags did not came out around like uh, I might believe the 2000s. Don't know. I... I have to think the two fell like around like the 2009, 2008, like 2010 ish. They were they introduced the cloth vacuum bags. It's mainly new technology and it's actually way better than the paper bags. I mean, you s rarely you see them more on now. You see them more now because first thing is a lot of these companies want to go away from the paper bags and start selling those because first thing is you get better filtration. Second of all. You mainly get the clean nation. You want to have a clean nation. You want to have great filtration with clean nation. I mean, you need your house to be clean nation with your filtration. Your vacuum exhaust filter can't do all the rest. And your other filter can't do all the rest. And that's why these machines use paper bags. Because first you got a secondary filtration. And that's pretty much a piece of felt. That's not really good filtration. When you look at, they mainly are a piece of felt and stuff like that, or a piece of sponge. Because first thing, this does all the work. Well, apparently it doesn't. To collect all the big stuff, but not the small stuff. Now, for all the large vacuuming use, I mean, if you're picking up more stuff with the vacuum cleaner, yes, it's going to tend to clog. And it's not going to work. And if it doesn't work, that's pretty much it. It's not really going to work. First of all, because number one is this machine really can't really, like say, clean up anything as much with these type of bags. Then when you pick up, let's say, larger, sharp objects, for example, like a small little pencil or thumbtacks, will rip right through these bags and actually go right through it and rip them and when you change it, it gets for all that dust that's inside the bag it'll just rip right out HEPA cloth bags and handle stuff like that they can handle all the sharp stuff because first thing they're durable machine they're durable bags and commercial vacuums don't really use those style bags they mainly use the paper bags you can actually buy those style bags if your commercial vacuum has a same design as a vacuum bag that you can yeah shares the same design bag or has the same type of bag as let's say a vacuum bag for a residential use you can actually buy cloth bags for it to replace the paper bags but they don't come in the pack like the cloth ones they come in a larger pack than the the paper ones do not the cloth ones and I think Sanitaire, you can get one of their certain machines, you can actually use HEPA bags, the cloth HEPA bags over the cheap paper. It's going to rip style bags when you need to pull out your machine and stuff like that. First thing is, yes, these bags don't outperform as much. 
compared to the cloth vacuum bags. And the best idea to use this bag is your just for your car exhaust. I mean, this is great for your car exhaust over a vacuum cleaner. I mean, that's the best option for these bags. It doesn't filter. It might filter the black stuff that comes out of your car exhaust. It might be the best option. Or you can use it for the air filter that's in the car when dirt will just go right through this, it'll be an air filter bag. This would be great for your air filter in your car. I mean, you'd be driving your car and all the stuff goes in this bag and it's time to change it. Like that, this is a great option for your car. I mean, I recommend this for your car instead of your vacuum, but it will not even fit the car. So don't put this in your car, replace it with the air filter. You shouldn't actually do that. First thing is there's no, the air filter boxes are small and stuff like that. This would be a better bag for... Next thing is, there are wet dry vacs that actually use those HEPA style bags. And if you have, let's say, a vacuum cleaner that picks up liquids also, like a wet dry vac, these ones, if you put these and dunk these in water, they will fall apart matter than at least a second. I mean, these will tear up. I mean, these are these are biodegradable, so you can actually bury these in your backyard instead of throwing them in the trash, and you mainly save the save the take, trip to the landfill. Because first thing, these break down. These are biodegradable, except for this one because there's a plastic one. This is the one that has the plastic collar. These have the cardboard collars, and these cardboard collars can also be recycled if you actually. Um, take the rubber out of it and these are not like the full printer style papers these do have like the it's like a little softer stuff like that you know what these machines these bags are black they're trash they're garbage they don't outperform as well so paper vacuum bags out here cloth hepa vacuum bags are way better